Real productivity comes from living for Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now let me ask you this, are you living for Him? Ephesians 5 15 to 16. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise but as wise, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. An achiever in mission uses his time wisely. He is also wise enough to learn from God. He is willing to listen and learn things out. Right now, let's worship the Lord. Yes, let's worship the Lord some more. The one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. The one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. With the one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing God my Savior. Hi there, Amer. Welcome back to Achievers in Mission College Tips. And I'm Pastor Ayam. With Dave and Nicola, we are your ka Amer. And for tonight's college tips, we'll be talking about how to redeem 
the time. Principles on how to maximize our limited time based on the Word of God. Time? Is there something much more valuable than time? Once spent, it's gone forever. Each one of us has an equal measure of time each and every day. And where we differ from one another is how we redeem the time allotted to us. Whether you are busy or not, there are no additional hours added to your day. The clock makes no favorites. As a hardworking student, there are gazillion workloads such as assignments, exams, paperwork, and projects. But the question is, how can we accomplish more but spend less time? How can we increase our productivity while having a balanced life? Here are the three principles which you can apply in order for you to redeem the time and be productive. Tip number one, track your time. Psalm 90 verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Amor, it would be a little difficult for you to plan your time if you don't know how to spend it wisely. So we have really to ask for God's help, ask for God's wisdom, and allow Him to teach us to number our days aright. Tracking your time is an important step towards a better time management and you can start that by planning your work schedule. In your online classes, you might need to answer a lot of projects and a series of questions. You must allocate or set aside time blocks to each assignment and stick to your schedule all the time. Oh, yes, Dave. By using this method, you'll minimize time wastage by being able to recognize what is unimportant. Amer, time tracking will be integral to your efficiency. So start tracking your time now. Tip number two, take care of yourself. It says in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16 to 17, Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Your body is the temple of the Lord. Believe it or not, keeping it healthy will increase your efficiency and your productivity. Amer, learn to take regular breaks. Do not push your brain beyond its capabilities, for this will cause you greater stress and fatigue. You should also get plenty of sleep. Sleep is essential for a healthy brain to function. Don't procrastinate. It will only cause you to cramp. Plan ahead and finish early. I agree with you, Nicola. Rest time is not a waste of time. The next time you make a work plan, schedule a time of rest. Tip number three, never neglect your relationship with Jesus. It says here in Ephesians 5 verse 16, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. We do not redeem our time by neglecting Christ. We start at the top. Amer, always remember that Redeeming our time is not always about calendar management, but it is also about living faithfully in light of the coming of our Savior. Never believe the false notion that if you neglect your devotions, your ministry, and attending church, that it will give you more time to do the work. Amer, your productivity is rooted on your connectivity to Jesus Christ. If you need strength, you come to Him. If you need wisdom, you ask Him. That's it for tonight's College Tips on Redeeming the Time. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are achievers in mission. God bless you! Hi Amor, this is again Pastor Yam and welcome back to Amplify. Psalm 90 verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Amor, it may be difficult sometimes if you will not spend your time wisely or if you don't know how to spend it on priorities. 
tracking your time is an important step towards time management. And tonight, let us ask God how to be productive by redeeming the time and using it wisely. Firstly, you ask God to teach you to number your days. So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Psalm 90 verse 12. Did you know, Amor, that a wise heart is a teachable heart or is a teachable spirit? Proverbs 9 verse 9. Give instruction to a wise man and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man and he will increase in learning. An achiever in mission accepts instruction. And he is humble to ask for suggestions or advices before he plans things out. When we say we ask God to number our days, it doesn't mean that we count how many days are left for us to help us number the shortness of our days here on earth. Doing what is right and just and pleasing in His eyes. Therefore, it is important to ask the source of time, is God, how to use it well. Psalm 144 verse 4 Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Visions 5 verse 16 Making the best use of the time because the days are evil. In your classes, Amers, how do you use your time well? Yes, spend your time uh, productively and doing your um, requirements ahead. And of course, by getting people saved. Such as your friends, your classmates, or your barcada, or even your professors in college. At home, how well do you present Jesus as Lord and Savior among your family? Remember, redeem the time. Get people saved and let them know how good God is and how loving God is upon His creations. Now, what would be the result of numbering your days? In Psalm 90 verse 12, So teach us to number our days that you will gain a heart of wisdom when you have a teachable heart. Wisdom here is chokma, which means practical wisdom or wisdom coming from God. Wisdom of God. You have to understand that if you as an aimer wants to gain a heart of wisdom, we must fear God. You must fear God. This is a reverent fear towards the Lord. A this is fear out of honoring the Lord. A heart of wisdom fears the Lord. Psalm 9 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. Wisdom from God is pure, peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, and impartial and sincere. Read your Bible. Can I say that again? <laughs> Read your Bible. You spend time talking to the source. You, you pray to God. Talk to God. By allowing God's Holy Spirit to teach you, you will just be amazed that you are doing uh, things well. You are spending your time wisely in right priorities. You are victorious just because you are willing to learn from the Lord. You will receive revelation and wisdom from God as you allow yourself to listen to the Holy Spirit. Amor, ask God to teach you. Be humble to say, Lord, without you, I am nothing. I need you every day. I need you every time. Right now, let's pray, Amors. Heavenly Father, we come before you again and we thank you so much for reminding us of how important it is to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Yes, Lord, teach our students to number their days by prioritizing you, by doing what is right, by doing what is pleasing in your eyes, by making the most of every opportunity, getting people saved, 
getting our families saved, sharing the gospel, and being being productive by making every time be excellently filled with your word and your presence. Thank you, Lord, that you will bless the work of the hands of the students and you will crown their efforts with success as they put you first, as they are humble to ask for your presence every day of their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen! Always remember Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are achievers and mission. See you again tomorrow.